A moving and jumping player is the foundation of every platformer. And some of you have asked me if I could make a simple tutorial about player movement with Unity's old input system. So let's boot up Unity and see where the magic happens. I set up a small demo scene with some platforms and each one of them has a sprite renderer and a box collider 2D. I also created some folders and imported my player sprite as well as a simple square for my platforms. Ok, let's create an empty game object called player and reset its position, rotation and scale. Next we add a sprite renderer to our player and select our player sprite. To be affected by Unity's built-in physics engine, our player needs a rigid body 2D and a box collider 2D. I like to increase the gravity scale a little bit, but that's entirely up to you. Afterwards, we set the collision detection to continuous, the sleeping mode to never sleep and the interpolation to interpolate. We don't want our player's rotation to be affected by physics, so make sure to check freeze rotation. Let's create another empty game object called ground check as a child of our player and position it right at our player's feet. Now it's time to give our player the ability to move and jump. Let's add a script to our player and open it up. First of all, we need four private variables. A float for the horizontal input, a float for the speed, a float for the jumping power, and the boolean that indicates whether our player is facing left or right. Next, we need three serialized fields to reference the rigid body, the ground check and the ground layer. We are going to add the ground layer later in Unity. In the update method, we parse the return value of raw horizontal into our horizontal variable. This returns a value of either minus 1, 0 or plus 1 depending on the direction we are moving. In the fixed update method, we set the x component of our rigid body's velocity to our horizontal input multiplied by our speed value. Let's create a private method called flip. So, if is facing right is true and our horizontal input is less than 0, or if is facing right is false and our horizontal input is greater than 0, we want to flip our player. To flip our player, we set is facing right to its opposite value and multiply the x component of our player's local scale by minus 1. Now we simply call our new method inside the update method. Moving should work fine now, but we're still missing the ability to jump. Let's create another private method called isGrounded that returns a boolean. To check if we are grounded, we use a method with three parameters called physics2d.overlapCircle. The first parameter is the position of the ground check. The second parameter is a small radius of 0.2. And the third parameter is the ground layer. This method creates an invisible circle right at our player's feet and when it collides with the ground layer we are allowed to jump. So in the update method, if we press the jump button and we are grounded, we jump by setting the y component of our rigid body's velocity to our jumping power. And if we release the jump button and our player is still moving upwards, we'll multiply the vertical velocity by 0.5. This allows us to jump higher by pressing the jump button longer and jump lower by just tapping the jump button. Let's save everything and go back to Unity. First of all, I moved our new script to the scripts folder to keep things organized. Next, we need to add a new layer called ground and assign it to every platform. Let's create a physics material 2D, set its friction and bounciness to 0 and drag it onto our player. This prevents our player from sticking to walls. Last but not least, we need to reference the rigid body, the ground check and the ground layer in our player movement script. 
If we hit play now, we should be able to move and jump. Nice. There are many ways to move and jump in Unity, but this is the solution I use in almost all of my videos. I still see myself as a beginner and I still have a lot to learn, but if this solution works for you as well as it does for me, please leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.